situation and just you know acknowledging understanding you know what kind of situation we, we are in and what is happening in the presence and uh just talking about it um get get to a certain place that you know we know we're gonna get uh you know, success from um, defensively locking in, talking on screens, on you know who's in help, and uh, you know it's important to communicate in in those type of times and just you know keep your composure in that way. So yeah. Are these games important to, for and then now the last twenty games of the year for something that you guys can can build on going into next year. Yeah. How, how going? Hell yeah, hell yeah. I think it's you know every game matters. You know you learn something from every game, whether it's good or bad. Um, so, you know, again, as we always said, it's a process and, uh, you know, every day we just want to learn, grow, whether it's in film, practice, um, treatment, understanding our bodies in the weight room, games, after games, um, you know, it's important to, to learn and grow together. So, you know, these last 20 or whatever, how many games do we have? I don't know. 21. Every, every game matters, no matter if we're in the playoffs or not. Key to holding the highest scoring team in the league, uh, 105 points. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, defense, uh, and you know, getting back because they're a fast-paced team uh, that want to, you know, live in transition and, and quick shots. Um, so uh, just living in that, and uh, you know, we did really well. When you when you're moved to a guy like McConnell, who's been like so hot and killing you guys all game, like what's your approach to cooling him off? Yeah, um, just be, you know. Be a presence in, in in him. I know he got you know a lot of mid range shots, a lot of like close to rim floaters um, in the paint. So just being a presence and you know kind of disrupting him in that way, um, and just talking to him a little bit. He's 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 a good guy. Uh, you know he was talking the whole 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 game too. Um, I asked him what his career high is. I think it's 28. Yeah. So I was like you can't get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, he smiled. But yeah, oh uh, yeah. And when, when there's a guy like that on the other team that's that's going off, do you ever like go to Pop and say like, you know, give me a shot at it, let me have a shot? Yeah, I, I did. Uh, we was, I think he scored, I think his last um, mid-range, I think it was like a, off a spin or something. Um, and I was running kind of on, on Pop's side and I told him, you know, let, let me get him. I don't know if he acknowledged it or not, but I think after that we, we switched the, the rotation and, and Mitch uh, told us to switch, so yeah. Tyrese struggled from the floor tonight. Were y'all doing anything uh, special or different with him? What was the game plan against a guy who can really fill it up? Yeah, I think I think you know just just play good D, um, be disruptive, be in him. Don't give him a lot of space because you know he's an all star, a, a player who has a lot of talent, a lot of ways to um, score, pass the ball. You know his vision's crazy, so um, just. You know, don't bite on on his fakes and stuff, and just you know, play play good deep. Along the lines of finishing the year strong, you know what I mean? Like, do, do you does it feel like right now the team is taking a step along that progression? Yeah, hundred um, percent. I think you can you know tell from even these last two wins. Uh, I think we're definitely taking a step forward um, every day. Um, just again, you know, learning and growing, and just understanding who's around us and who our leaders are. Who you know. Who's gonna give us energy and just everything? Um, so yeah, no, definitely. The last time you played these guys was way back in November, but they scored. Yeah. They, they scored 152 points. Yeah. <laughs> what? What's been from that point of the season to now? What's been the biggest shift for y'all defensively? You individually, defensively, uh, both of those things. Yeah. Um, I think just you know understanding who we have on the on the court. Um, just you know, different personnel we have, um, communication. That's you know number one for me, and I think for everyone else on the team. Uh, but you know, just understanding who we have. You know, when when Vixen, uh, he's a guy who you know we we want him to help, and everyone else just you know kind of stay back because it's, it's fucking Vic. You know what I mean? Um, and then uh, you know when Zach's in, it's different. It's different. You know, game plan schemes. Um, but yeah, just understanding who we have on the court and just you know communicating that and just playing defense in the end. Jeremy, along the lines of Effin Vic, <laughs> an, another 31, 12, six blocks, six, six assists. He's normalizing numbers yeah. that aren't normal. I'm just wondering if, as a teammate, if you you know step back and you look at those stat sheets and numbers he puts up and go, I mean, if it hits you, or if you're just kind of so busy in the grind that. It's just Vic. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It's just it's just Victor. You know what I mean? Uh, we're, I think we're so used to it. Um, 
there's still moments where we're like, oh, like what was that? Like we ain't never seen that before. But I think you know, overall we've we've seen so much of what he's done and you know what he can become and what he is gonna become. You know, it's kind of normal for us now. And sometimes, like I know, like a couple of people on the bench or uh, coaches, sometimes are like, "Oh, why didn't he go get that?" Like he's like, you know what I mean? Like we just know he can do way more than you know he's done. He's doing right now, and what he's doing right now is is unbelievable. So, no props to him. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you, Jeremy.